Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. Caught my wife, 29 female, cheating on me, 29 male, again after a year. Why do I question my own sanity? Hello to everyone. This is my first post here, and I just wanted to share, gain some ideas, and rant since I don't have another channel accessible to me right now that allows me to do so, so I really appreciate everyone who chooses to read it and express their honest comments from an outside viewpoint. Background, I'm 29 male, my wife is 29 female, and we have two lovely daughters under the age of 4. Keep in mind that my wife is depressed. Was hospitalized and diagnosed as suicidal at one time. She takes medicine or should take medication as prescribed. Story, in December 2020, I discovered my wife having an affair. I didn't find out until a month later, January 2022, when my two-year-old daughter handed me my wife's mobile phone, which was lying out in the living room. The lights illuminated as a result of an incoming text message. I spotted the text message I love you as soon as I picked up the phone. My heart sank as I recognized the name it was a close friend of hers. Not only from that message, but also from previous communications. I felt rage, astonishment, disillusionment, and gloom. I couldn't believe I was in the middle of what I considered a nightmare. I asked my wife a question when I met her with her phone what exactly is this? What exactly is going on? I kid you not, the first thing she says is, why are you even looking at my phone? I became even more enraged as a result. I couldn't believe what she had said. She didn't express regret until much later in our talk. But now that I think about it, her apology wasn't genuine, as shown by the fact that I had to pull it out of her. Even yet, it's not how I would behave if I were in her shoes. In any case, she gives me her side of the story and confirms she had relations with this person on several times. She underlined that she was quite miserable, that she wasn't happy at home, and that I wasn't providing her what she needed, nor was I actually listening to her for a time. In general, she pretended to be the victim, blaming me for her acts. Of course, knowing what I know now, I had no idea how to respond, so I accepted the blame like a fool. I really hated myself for her infidelity. Devastation and heartbreak don't even begin to describe how I felt and how I feel still simply thinking about it. I would not wish this behavior on anyone. One month later, I decided that I wanted to continue our relationship and attempt to reconcile, but the only way for it to work was for her to end the affair and ban this person from all social media platforms, messaging apps, and so on. Remove this home wrecker from our family. She did that and I was there when she called and blocked him on all social media platforms. A year goes by, and although we had some bumps on the road, I felt like things were improving. We continued to attend a couple's therapist once a week for around six to seven months. We concluded the classes believing that we no longer need them and proceeded to put what we had learned into practice. It's presently Saturday morning in February 2022. I get out of bed at 5.30 am to feed our cat. When I returned to our bedroom, I saw her phone was out next to her. I just wanted to put the phone down and go back to sleep until I saw it was the AP's account. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. For a brief minute, I considered this to be nothing more than a nightmare. I didn't browse through the messages since they were plenty for me. Everything that I believed had ended a year ago flashed before my eyes. This time, I was cool and collected, and I didn't shout in rage as I did the previous time. I roused her and said who exactly is this? What exactly is going on? She didn't say anything for 5 to 10 minutes. There was total quiet. She then goes on to describe it once again she wasn't happy, she was miserable, and she didn't really get over her emotions for this person. However, he just contacted me to ensure that I was still alive. At that moment, I couldn't believe anything she said. The second opportunity, the sliver of confidence I still had in her, was spat back in my face. She didn't apologize soon away after that. She attempted to play the victim, 
justifying her actions and claiming it was my fault for believing we didn't need to continue couples counseling after six to seven months. I went outside for 30 minutes, returned, and stated I'm looking for a divorce. Even though I still love you, I can't keep torturing myself. Since then, I've been questioning myself. My self-esteem has never been so low in my whole life. I feel marriage is important because that is how I was reared. So we're now in the process of hiring a lawyer to help us prepare for the divorce. I'm still processing things, talking to my pals for support, and so on. When we divorce, I want to inform her family why we split rather than her attempting to conceal the facts. But what do you think? Should I do it? I feel obligated to guarantee that they do not believe any falsehoods she may tell to further her own goal. Finally, 1. Why did cheaters try to play the victim when they are caught? 2. Why do cheaters point the blame at the betrayed spouse? 3. Why do I doubt my own sanity when I wasn't the one who cheated? Thank you again to everyone who took the time to read and offer their opinions. I hope everyone who has moved on is in a better mental condition and is with someone who really loves and respects them no matter what happens. Story 2 My wife is cheating on me without cheating on me and I can't talk to anyone about it. Let me explain. Sorry for the length, but there is a lot of information here. For the longest time, my wife and I have been each other's closest, and frequently, only, friends. We are both really timid and have a difficult time establishing friends. She recently made a male coworker a friend. She's had male coworkers in the past, and it's never disturbed me. But this one is unique. First, she began messaging him a lot, a lot, out of nowhere, and I had no idea until I learned she had over our texting limit, which she had never even approached previously. She kept it hidden from me out of fear of making me envious. She is convinced that he is just a buddy who she needs. She joins him for lunch and then leaves to fetch coffee. They converse on the phone for a couple of hours once or twice a week. They've also been texting each other images of themselves, not racy ones or anything, just normal stuff. They often text each other all day, literally, even to the point of having to say goodnight to each other. She is now, for the most part, frank about everything. Every now and then, I'll find out something she didn't tell me or catch her in a little deception, that she said she was doing to protect my feelings. But, for the most part, she's not disguising it. I'm very certain they're not spending more time together than I believe since there isn't any open time in her calendar that I've seen. There is no inexplicable time. But I still get the impression that she is having an emotional affair. I've told her, clearly that this makes me uneasy, that I don't enjoy her having this degree of relationship with another guy. But I also know that telling her she can't have this friendship is wrong. The difficulty is that he is also married, and their marriage is having difficulties. And his wife has asked him not to text my wife anymore. So they've begun texting via hanging with friends, hoping she won't notice. Which I believe is insulting and incorrect. People at her workplace have speculated that they are having an affair, which has spread throughout the business. In one of the numerous fights slash discussions we've had over this, I asked my wife if she would inform her mother what she was doing. She declined. I inquired whether she believed what she was doing was acceptable against my and his wife's desires. She declined. This, however, is insufficient to persuade her to quit. I'm not even asking her to dismiss him as a friend. I'm only asking her to treat him like any other work buddy, with no platonic dates, extended talks, or all-day text marathons. She's even informed me that if the position were reversed, she'd detest it if I had a lady friend like this, but this isn't enough to get her to stop. I can't tell anybody about it since every friend or family member of mine is close with her, and I don't want anyone thinking less of her or knowing about our problem. As a result, I must suffer in quiet. I'm at a loss on what to do. I'm trying not to be pushy and respect her, but this entire situation seems out of control, and I feel right in loathing it. It feels amazing simply writing it all out. Sorry for the rambling and jumping about. There's just so much information. Anyway, 
What are your thoughts? Is it simply that I'm too sensitive slash paranoid? Or are I correct in my dissatisfaction? Update, I recognized I was in denial and that, whether my wife understood it or not, there was an issue that needed to be addressed. As I said yesterday, I sent her a note describing my thoughts at home and packed a tiny suitcase. I went to the hotel for the night and requested to meet with her tonight to speak about it. I included around a dozen of your comments in the letter so she could see what other people thought of our issue, I also included what I wrote so she knew I didn't exaggerate. Don't worry, I didn't disclose your handles, so she won't pursue you. She contacted me after she got home and read the letter. I didn't respond, but she asked me to come home and chat in her voicemail, in which she was weeping, which is typical of her. She said in the message that she had lunch with the other man the day before and that they had already agreed to discontinue their relationship since they both recognized they were developing love for one other. I eventually decided to go home and chat with her. We had a lengthy discussion. She informed me that he acknowledged to having emotions for her the other day but pledged not to pursue them. She informed me that she realized she was developing emotions for him the day before yesterday which worried her. She said that she really felt they were just friends, that she refused to accept it was anything more than that, and then it just happened. She informed me that they hadn't done anything physical yet, that it hadn't gone that far, and that's why they chose to stop their friendship, since neither of them wanted to cross a line they couldn't undo. I'm going to go with her on this one. She informed me that, even though she was already withdrawing from his relationship, the note I left had truly awakened her eyes to what she was doing to me and to us. It hurt my heart to see her so distraught and embarrassed. I've never seen her in such a state before. We both cried for a long time, and I spoke all I wanted to say and asked the things I needed answered. I feel she was finally honest with me about everything, even some difficult things to hear. This continued on for many hours. Instead of remaining alone at the hotel, I invited her to accompany me. We went out to dinner, then to the hotel's hot pool, and had a fantastic night together. I understand what some of you are thinking, but this isn't the conclusion of the story. We have a lot of things to figure out. We're discussing some therapy, and it'll take some time for me to totally trust her again. I'm not going to pretend nothing occurred. But I'm also not abandoning my marriage. I'm not going to. I'll never do it. Some of you may think I'm a, but I don't mind. This is the lady I promised to spend the rest of my life with, and I don't plan to violate that commitment as long as I have a choice in the matter. For better or worse, correct. Today, I also texted the other man, informing him that my wife informed me of what was going on and that I wanted to make it plain that if I see even a single non-work related text from him on her phone again, we will have a different conversation, in person. My wife and I have a long road ahead of us, but I'm certain that we're both dedicated to repairing our relationship and going on. I really wanted to thank everyone, at least those who gave me good suggestions, for yesterday. I needed to be jolted awake, and I believe it came just in time. I feel like this gloomy cloud is finally breaking up. Update 2 colon hello once again, everyone. Thank you everybody, or at least the majority of you for your kind words of support. My wife and I have had a lot of serious, emotional talks over the previous several days. After being with her for 12 years, I can honestly state that I've observed a significant difference in her over the last few months, but she's finally returned to her former self in the last few days. I can tell she is honest. I learned that the other man and his wife would be leaving shortly, which makes me glad. My wife has felt so bad that she has agreed to be open and honest with me, allowing me to be as nosy as I need to be and to check in on her as often as I need to till I feel safe again. We'll be beginning some counseling with our pastor shortly, which I believe will be very beneficial. It still aches that it ever went this far. I've gone through phases of rage, pain, disappointment, and hope. I'm sure it will take a long time for those negative sentiments to go but everything will be okay. I'm certain of it.